Welcome to Danish Academy. I'm Madi Tarabi and in this video, we'll explore how solar panels work and uncover the science behind harnessing the power of the sun. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Striking a solar cell by photons, sunlight. Absorbing photons by semiconductor material. Releasing electrons and creating an electric current. Movement of electrons towards the poles of the solar cell. Electricity generation process, DC slash AC. The process of converting sunlight into electricity begins here. When sunlight reaches the solar panel, its photons, tiny packets of energy, hit the surface of the solar cell. This is the starting point where the energy needed for electricity generation is captured. Sunlight contains different types of ultraviolet, UV, rays, which play a crucial role in energy interaction with solar cells. These UV rays are categorized based on their wavelengths. UVC rays, 100 nanometers to 290 nanometers the shortest and most energetic UV rays. Fortunately, most UVC rays are absorbed by Earth's atmosphere and don't reach the surface. UVB rays, 290 nanometers to 320 nanometers medium wavelength UV rays partially absorbed by the atmosphere. These rays contribute to energy transfer but are less intense than UVC. UVA rays, 320 nanometers to 400 nanometers the longest UV rays. They penetrate Earth's atmosphere and are the most significant in reaching solar panels. Each type of UV ray carries energy, but it's primarily UVA and visible light that solar cells utilize effectively to generate electricity. When sunlight strikes the solar panel, its photons are absorbed by the semiconductor material, typically silicon. This material is designed with a structure that enables the conversion of light energy into electrical energy. Let's break it down in detail. Semiconductor layers. The n-type layer contains extra electrons, negative charge carriers. The p-type layer contains holes, positive charge carriers. At their boundary, the p-n junction forms an electric field. Photon energy transfer. Photons excite electrons, freeing them from the silicon atoms. This process creates free electrons and holes, which are separated by the electric field at the p-n junction. Charge carrier movement. Electrons are pushed to the n-type layer, while holes move to the p-type layer. This movement generates a voltage across the cell, forming the foundation for electrical current. After photons enter the solar cell, Advanced designs guide and trap the light to maximize its interaction with the semiconductor. Textured surfaces and reflective back layers ensure photons bounce within the cell, increasing the chances of absorption. This process enhances the cell's efficiency by ensuring minimal light escapes and prepares the absorbed energy for electron release in the next stage. Photon energy transfer. Photons provide energy to free electrons in the PN junction. Shown in the image is the region where the n-type and p-type layers meet. Electron movement. Freed electrons move through the n-type layer, while holes left behind flow into the p-type layer, as indicated in the diagram. External circuit. Once electrons are freed, they are directed into the external circuit, completing a loop. This is illustrated with the bulb lighting up, symbolizing the flow of electricity. The visual emphasizes the critical flow path. Energy excites electrons. Electrons flow through the circuit. The process generates direct current, DC, which can power devices or be converted into AC in later stages. Depletion zone. The region where the n-type layer, rich in electrons, and the p-type layer, rich in holes, meet is called the depletion zone. Here, positive and negative ions create an electric potential, as shown in the image. Electric field direction. The built-in electric field pushes electrons from the p-type layer toward the n-type layer. This movement ensures that freed electrons are guided toward the negative pole, while holes move toward the positive pole. Electron pathway. As visualized in the close-up, electrons follow a defined path, marked by arrows, from the p-layer to the n-layer and eventually toward the solar cell's external circuit. Poles of the solar cell. The movement of electrons to the negative pole and holes to the positive pole establishes a voltage difference, 
which is critical for generating current when the circuit is closed. 1. Solar Cell Asterisk The smallest unit that converts sunlight into electrical energy. 2. Solar Module Asterisk A collection of solar cells connected together to generate more power. 3. Solar Panel Asterisk A combination of multiple modules to produce higher energy output, suitable for residential and industrial use. 4. Solar Array Asterisk a system of multiple panels used for large-scale power generation, such as in solar farms. Solar panels convert sunlight into direct current DC electricity. Inverter transforms DC into alternating current AC for home use. Home usage, powers appliances, any extra electricity is sent to the grid. Grid credits, surplus energy earns credits or reduces electricity bills. This process ensures clean, efficient energy for your home and the grid. Thank you for watching. Your support means so much to us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.